Hello and welcome to Warblog. This is a new development video to cover air transport. Um, so essentially I'm, not, I'm using this game as an example. I'm not going to bother with the gameplay. Um, so we'll move on to the next turn. And what you'll see we have some Afghan air transport units there. Now in theory what I could now do is move them into here and transport some units out. Now, just to take a couple of steps back, first thing that they can basically air units, um, I won't talk about how they can be inserted because it's, it's another matter, but it's different to air insertion, it works differently. Um, we'll maybe go into that if, we, if I can here. Yeah. Um, now essentially what it actually does is allows you to pull out, extract special forces, paratroopers and air mobile units of strength 5 or less and as well as extract infantry units of strength 2 or less. Now here we've got two one strength infantry units um, I mean there's nothing deliberate about that arrangement but it's convenient. However these, this unit can only extract one of these units so now if I go into there I'm not going to do this extraction because uh, I don't want to confuse the video, but I could extract. Well, it probably wouldn't work. Nothing, nothing, nothing would happen if I didn't select anything. Um, but I could, I could extract that one or that one. If I select both, it will only extract the first one in the list. Um, so. Essentially, that's how it works. So if I were to then commit that air insertion, um, I would be returned to this screen without these units. Now, I don't want to sort of do that just yet, although I've got something I could do. Um, there is a bit... Well, okay, let, let's, let's sort of see what we've got here. Um, hopefully this will sort of work in, in the way that I want it to. Um, this, this unit is unit number 6, and this unit is unit number 11. So we're going to extract unit number 11. So when I... Now, essentially, just a little sort of aside, if there were enemy troops in here, um, then they would basically provide a, a basically a, a offensive or defensive, whatever you want it, um, firepower. So I, I would be, this, this would be an airlift under firepower, or hot, hot airlift, or whatever you want to call it. In, in, so, so much so that, let me just go back to the game and go to the next turn and let's put in these Taliban units and now commit an airlift you can see that these Taliban units are there now I'm going to actually extract this unit um, because I'm interested to see what happens um, so when I extract it basically it says airlift one was a success. Now notice that it's left the other one behind, unit six. We used, we took out unit 11. So um, it doesn't allow you to, well I didn't select both of them, but uh, it doesn't allow you to, to airlift more. Now the air, I don't have any airlift capability now, so we'll just go through the game where we've got these units, we'll just move them along. So, oh that's actually the Taliban turn, so we'll leave, we'll go along. Okay, so it's the Afghan turn, we'll just move these along, sort of, generally, it doesn't really matter, just so we've got some other units to maybe play with. Um, so what, what I'm going to do, I'm just flicking through the turns. Now, these, the airlift was successful, and that was on turn two, I think. And so, on turn six, we should get our airlift capability back. But what we've got down here is some air insertion units. Now... I'm going to insert these air units. This is special forces. So air insertion, just as a point of note, works differently because I don't need air transport units to do it. All I do is just drag them onto the board. I get exactly the same sort of option here. I'm being told that if I land here, this unit will provide a defensive fire. So it'll be a hot LZ some, to some extent. It asks me to commit the air insertion. I do. Um, I get attacked. Um, uh, but don't receive any damage. The, these, these numbers up here are pretty crap actually. Um, the, the air extraction is probably a little more complete than that. 
be all going back to that. But anyway, so we've now inserted that unit. Now the thing is, we could we would want to lay, but maybe later extract it, but we don't have any air transport at the moment because it's been used to extract this unit. Um, we won't worry about the air power or anything like that. So well, what, what we're trying to do now is get to turn six. Well, in theory, the, um, the, the air transport unit should come back. So it's the Taliban turn, turn six. Well, that was convenient that it actually worked because I didn't know, I couldn't remember whether it was turn two or it might have been turn three. But anyway, so now what you can see is we've now got that unit that that infantry unit that is actually now available for um, air insertion. Now we'll come back to something about that in a little bit. But if they had been attacked whilst do, if they had received damage whilst doing any of that, they could have been delayed. The delay goes um, essentially for another two turns. So you can, if, if we'd received, if if, if we'd been attacked or shot or damaged in any way. Um, we could have waited six turns for the um, the air transport to come back and for this unit to be available. We could have also have lost the air transport and had this left on the ground behind, and we could also have lost both units. This scenario is not big enough for there to be such a large amount of um, anti you, you know anti aircraft fire that we would probably suffer any losses. Uh, you you know these units have basically minimal. Um, min minimal sort of combat power in these situations. It's like two times 0 0.15. I think it's actually two point times 0 0.25. So he's he's worth half. That's half a percent. There's half a percent chance of him actually knocking this down. And then after that, you've got to carry out a um, a damage uh, role, which is a different, completely different role uh, that also incorporates the strength. Um, but there's still quite a good chance of, of killing things. Um, but anyway, so um, we've now got this air extraction unit. So we could assume that maybe this battle was going in or it's not going in. If you saw the actual playthrough for this scenario, you see that we attacked three times and failed. Uh, and then the, 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 the Taliban irregulars were sort of here. And the, really, there was nothing that they could do. This is why I've done the air extraction. But now we're going to extract this unit. And as you can see, we've only got the one box, we've only got the one unit. We're going to commit that air instruction here as a success. As I said, there's such a minimal amount of uh, force in there. But if they'd had anti-aircraft, um, uh, um, uh, air defense, rockets, air rockets, things like that, those things really add up. And if they were, for, for example, if this was like a regiment of strength sort of 14, and they had two of them in there, 28, all of a sudden, that, that would give them like a 10% bonus and a few AA guns, and you know it can become really quite difficult. So, um, but th this, is, this is sort of you know an easy one. So essentially, I think that's pretty much the sort of the, the nuts and bolts of it. I mean, you know, the only way I'm going to be able to do this at the end is by going forward another four spaces to get those units back. But what I'm going to do is just see whether I can maybe sort of get that far. Um, yeah, he didn't, didn't get any damage going in. Um, so he's been airdropped in. And we're just going to sort of shoot ahead. So that was on turn six. We really need to get to turn ten. And there we have our air transport and our um, special forces units again. Now, remember that they might not come on turn 10 if they've got some damage. They might come on turn 11, 12. Um, the, um, and, and, and as I said, the, um, you know, we, we could lose these units. Uh, you know, it could be aborted and these would come back on sort of five turns and this would still be on the ground, etc. So essentially that's that. I mean, there's, I don't really know what much more to say about all of that. Um, it's a bit of an odd system uh, because it doesn't. What I wanted to do initially, for example, if I would have wanted to extract this unit, I would just pull him from there and dump him into there. However, the, the, the reason that sort of doesn't work for me so much is because it it basically 
it doesn't take into effect the difficulty of doing an air extraction when you're surrounded by Taliban units. So I, I want it to go through to a control screen. So I could sort of do that, but also I want to limit it to the amount because otherwise you could extract everything on the map. Now, it, it, for example, I, I mean, although it's a sort of, I could probably find workarounds on these things. I mean, for example, what's to stop me from moving these over in, 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 into there? Um, you know, using that process. Well, I could put in some code there because they're mechanized, they, 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 they can't. Um, but then, what you know? How would I define how many air, 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 air transport units that I actually had available? So if I had, I could, you know, in theory, if these were both special forces, I could extract all four in one go. Where I've only got one airport air transport capacity unit, and so it, it's it's a bit of a a bit of a, um, a hodgepodge solution. But I think. It came to me sort of yesterday, to be quite honest. I haven't put a lot of thought into it, but I thought when I thought of it, I thought, hang on, that's much better than what I was thinking. Because basically, what I was thinking originally was just being able to slide the units over, and it would be quite difficult to actually do that, both taking into account the air defence capability of the surrounding units and limiting that to some extent with regards to um, you know airlift capacity and also part and parcel of all that being able to then define when the units are available again and and or how much damage they take for example i mean if i was to move this unit out under the current sort of air defense rules um, i could move him to, to there and he would probably be extracted without any damage so how would i differ differentiate that between what happened if he was actually eliminated so this way it gives you a very clear sort of overview i'm now thinking of doing that i can now see the risks i can now calculate what i want to do um, it also gives me a clear idea of what's available in there for example um let's just let's see whether this actually works well it shouldn't really go well actually no that's 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 fine um, basically what you can see there's no air extraction in there because these units are not eligible to be extracted but you sort of can't do that really um, so for example you know I might have quite a big stack uh, with 10 units in it and I'm not sure what I can do or don't have I could just plonk it on there and get an overview so that, that's the system I've elected to use um, it's still sort of hot off the press but it's taken me a fair amount of time is probably a, 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 say about as demanding as they get um, but it's now sort of complete and I've been wanting to do that since Operation Masha which was done about nearly two years ago about a year and a half ago because uh, um, the, the, the Vietnam campaigns they're all about air insertion and extraction so I'll probably be maybe going back and looking at some of these Vietnam scenarios and also maybe picking up on more and certainly taking air transport into account fully going forward um, to be quite honest I think the, uh, the, the air transport development um, signifies a sort of a turn in the development of the game in general from being constantly well there's so much to do to hmm, well you, you know I'm not so far off completing it in the sense of getting all the features that I want. I mean, there's, there isn't as much, and there's certainly nothing more demanding than that that's, that needs to be done. There's just tidying up. Um, and, and there are a few little bits and pieces here and there. Uh, I won't go into sort of what, which, what, what, what I'm referring to, but, you know, just little things, that, uh, features that don't exist or aren't complete, you know, at the, at the moment. So, um, yeah, so that's that. I'll turn it into another 15 minute video, but uh, I'll, I'll cut it short there. So, um, hopefully, that makes sense and, um, you know, certain, certainly be tweaking any errors go, go, going forward. But now we've got air transport, air extractions. So, that's good. I'll, uh, I'll speak to you later. Cheers, mate.